All right, my lovers, let's get a little card pull for the day. We're going to check into the themes for May 21st, 2021. No, <laughs> May 21st, 2024. That's the actual date. Let's get into these cards. I'm MJ. I'm the founder of All to Love, and I like to do these readings just to entertain you guys, to uh, share some tarot love and wisdom and of course I do offer private readings and I sell products that I've created over the years via Ultra Love. They're sustainable, uh, zero waste packaging with regards to the merchandise and the rest of it is digital and you can get uh, an audio uh, version of the book like the Kindle. Uh, you can buy the hard copy as well but well Anyway, let's get into the reading. Divine Guidance and Loving Clarity is my intention. Divine Guidance and Loving Clarity. That energy came out. So this is sixth house. This is about sustainability. And that, that I, I do feel a certain depth to that. It's 44. So it's a lot to do with the foundations that we're uh, creating. The foundations, things like day-to-day -day habits, daily habits, daily routines, uh, the you know the the day-to-day -day things that sustain us essentially so this is this is a theme for today so there's a little bit we're coming up to a full moon in Sagittarius uh and there's a lot of dynamic action happening in in Taurus and Pisces so there's this very dreamy energy but that dreamy energy is also ushering these big dynamic physical changes in our personal realities in, in the world at large and of course we're having continuing uh, perspective shifts which I of course like to like to look at it from a perspective of love that we're becoming more and more loving hopefully and we're seeing things with greater clarity um, and this is helping us to excavate maybe some of our truer passions so some of these changes might also shape shift us in ways that bring about uh, artistic skills There's that another death card. So we're we're we are undergoing these transformational energies. Let's let's get some more info here. See the foundations. The foundations are being so we're really having to dig in here and reflect on the foundations that are not working. It's because it's almost like there's a recognition, there's a soulful recognition, just a physical, tangible knowing. That without those stable foundations, any new beginnings we take won't grow properly. At least think of how everything is super duper reflective and mirrored back to us and nature as well. Um, you know, if we plant seeds and get frustrated because we're not seeing the things grow and start digging it up, we're never going to see it grow. We get frustrated. We have to be patient with, with these things. We have to allow, um, you could say, the kind of constellations to come in naturally and that there again is that openness to being really present to our lives being really honest about the foundations that don't feel stable or the or just simply the foundations that are uprooting as in people in our lives are moving away or um certain things just aren't sustainable right certain habits we have or this looks like something to do with with money and like creativity a little bit to do with our passion like if if we're not really in alignment with our soul's growth with our soul's passion with what we really want to do um it won't uh, come off kind of thing it won't so there's mm, for some of you there the, the death card i'm getting is like for some of us there is possibly some stuff we're just having to let die um to move to calmer waters mm, interesting so it's the conflict energy five of wands um, at over t with that death energy so 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 for some of us there is something about letting go of conflict letting go of an inner battle letting go of maybe the energies that feel conflicted in our lives as well one more card mm -hmm. this is a positive Okay, so for some of us too, like these foundations that might not be quite right for us, a lot of a lot of these will be uprooted, transformed, and changed via just life circumstance. I, I'm thinking divine intervention with the judgment card. 
there's th these are kind of karmic rules as it were like whether we like it or not we all have our personal karma we all have our our, our personal stuff that we're having to work on in this life whether it's uh you know following our passion or um working on communication um uh, harmonizing relationships or 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 being able to be more independent right like we all have these little inner worlds I was I was having a chat yesterday with somebody about that about how you know we never really know each other in that way we we and and thus way we the way we interact and communicate is like our best shot of like having a sense of connection and 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 so conflict energy seems to be something we're moving um to calmer waters out of like so 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 finding the daily routines that sustain us trusting in those right and then mentally moving to calmer waters and knowing that you know this is almost like energies of taking the high road if there's certain dramas and conflicts and things that we're like oh my god you know like i can't deal with that princess of sword it's kind of one of those things of like i gotta cut it out i gotta go my own way i gotta uh, yeah take the high road sort of vibratory is very very um alive here and a lot of it will come through the sustainability of just our day-to-day -day habits, our work routines. And again, some of us might be leaning more toward, this might not be some radical change, but leaning more towards some of our hobbies, some of our passions. Um, I do see that as a collective theme, you know, over the, you know, just the next phase of our lives, evolutionarily speaking. Um that part of that evolution is for us to relinquish certain survival habits and and move toward more of a creative way of life uh, that to me is like sustaining uh, better well-being practices imagine more and more and more and more and more and more people things like meditating and and yoga and gardening and just like earthwork and tending to the body and, and the earth and and da -da -da, like that in, that intelligence is is sort of re-enlivening within us and that that is helping us to evolve and allowing us to have a little bit more freedom and creative expression in this world I am aware that's potentially for some people a very idealistic but I like to have that perspective that the world is evolving and that we're going into better and higher aspects of harmonic um well you know peace love that kind of stuff there just be new challenges on different levels of existence right so who knows who knows i think that's part of the divine mystery right so queen of cups let's get some final card cards here for the messages for may 21st some of you have a queen of cups energy coming in this is a uh, queen it can be uh, other in the general readings um, but she feels benevolent to me. She is in the upright. This could be somebody coming in with a message, somebody coming in for support. Um, mm, 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 mm. For some of you, it's feeling like it's somebody maybe watching you, <laughs> keeping an eye on you. There's a little bit of cheekiness about this queen, I would say. Um, there also could be a teacher. This could be a meditation teacher, transcendence. I'm thinking of TM meditation. And this is also, you know, these spiritual things people talk about or just the, the idea of transcendence, of course, always does come via kind of a certain discipline or practice. People, marathon runners get in the zone, musicians get in the zone in meditation. That's a, an access point, too, where you sort of transcend the attachments to your physical life and body and access other realms. So for some of you, the Queen of Cups could be like a meditation teacher who's who's going to guide you and help you to anchor some of that practice a little bit more. Mm. And, and I just, so the rebel energy is also giving me a sense of like, some of you are feeling rebellious, but I'm also like, Ooh, be mindful of that energy. Like uh, I'm, I'm very aware of the energies that are maybe repetitive or too impulsive. So just be mindful of that. But, but for some of you is a positive as far as there's chains and shackles you're wanting to break free from because you are at a precipice. So there is a sense of, you know, being at the edge of something and just having the courage to take that next step. 
Okay, there's your reading, you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Love you loads. Speak to you soon. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.